It's a rather drab looking group of juvenile, fairly unusual Victorians called the Redback Scraper from my friend Jason in Minnesota. Those of you into Victorians know who I'm talking about. Know he's got good stuff. Quite a stellar individual up there. Dominant male is displaying some coloration there in the center of the frame. Jason tells me he's already had two groups of uh, fry out of this batch. And uh, presumably that would be the daddy. The bulk of these are quite colorless right now. As you'd expect of the females in juvenile coloration of any of the Lake Victorian cichlids. These are, of course, in the CARES program and on the IUCN red list is virtually everything from Lake Victoria. I try not to rant about the Nile perch and stupid decisions that have been made there. Just kind of enjoy having and watching a new species in my collection. big boy in on the group here. This tank's freshly set up. You can tell because it's not covered with algae and detritus like most of the tanks are. This is a 40 gallon long and I suspect it'll work for a very long time for these guys. Jason did not warn me about any specific aggression levels on these so I presume they're like most of the rest. Somewhere in the middle on aggression. Middle water swimmers. Would have been fascinating having been able to study these in the lake to discover which portion of the water column that they occupy because the lake was stratified by the depth. Each species, that is to say, each species would, would adopt a certain portion of the water stratification for free swimming and come down to spawn. Dominant males, of course, would set up a territory to lure females into that. 